Yeah, cool. James, many congratulations. Thank it's you. A fabulous performance to book your place in the semi finals of the Betfred World Match Play. Just sum up what the emotions like right now. Magical, uh, enjoyed it. Really, really nervous. Felt that I probably could have done a little bit better. But what was good is I believe that he gave me the best of his game for 10 to 15 legs. And it, and um, I, I feel that I was a little bit better and I still wasn't at, at the peak of my game. So that's that's a positive and that's, that's a real uh, compliment to myself. And I'm going to compliment myself because no one else is going to. Um, and perhaps I should start doing now I'm 40. Am I 41 now? Jesus, I'm 41, so yeah, 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 all is good. How proud of you are you of that performance? Because it was a magical performance on a magical stage. Not so much proud, it's the expectance of myself, you know, and I, I believe I should do that every TV tournament better, you know, and, um, you know, it's just nice to tick a box and uh, boom, have that. That middle section of the game, did you feel untouchable? Because it was almost as if you couldn't I, I did. I did for like eight or nine legs. I thought, <laughs> don't matter what you do, Sonny boy, you ain't good enough. And um, but that could have been that could have been the other way if, it, if momentum and rhythm would have gone with him. But I, I believe it should have been. I felt like I was going to play like one of the greatest games I've ever played, and I didn't. So, but you know, I did enough. James, Thank you very much. James, we know you as an excellent finisher. That's a but... very bright light there. That's his, I'm afraid. Um, but scoring... All big ones have got big ones. <laughs> But scoring-wise, it's not something we usually see you, the amount of 180s you hit in that game. Uh, I think ignorance is bliss as well from people like yourself. But statistically... Yeah, statistically, you... but when it really crunches and when it really matters, when I do play well, that does happen. You know, you're looking at um, an overall mediocre thing from what I can do, but I believe that everyone knows when I do play a big game, which I think that was a big game, could have been bigger. That that does happen, and, you know. And I think it's um, ill thought of for people to say that I can't do that or I don't do that because I have done and I will do. And you know, I, I, so I don't mean to be contradictory or, or like rude, but I think I think you need to look a bit more back over history when 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 it's been against me what I've done. Not not when I've been going well. When it's been against me, you know. I, I, it's not an uncommon thing to see what you've just seen. Yeah, that's fair. Um, you won this in 2007, a long time ago now. Mm. How do you remember that feeling? Uh, it's a magical feeling, you know, but I remember more that losing to the very best dart player in the world um, five or six times after that, when, if everyone's frank, if he wasn't there, I would have probably won 100, 100 TV titles, you know. Um, he would have helped my confidence grow, but he didn't. And he was here, unfortunately. But you know, again, I was the only dart player to, to stop him after seven years. Seven years of victorious events. Same as um, uh, the Premier League, you know, 47 or 48 games. I think it was 47, 44. 44 games, you know. I was the only kid to do that then as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm pumping myself up here because I can't rely on you to do that. <laughs> They're facts and figures, and they're, and they're strong. With performances like that, you must have the belief that this is a chance to go all the way. Oh, they're not good enough to win it, but they're, they're, they're good, they're good. And people stand back and go, mm, okay, I've got to play a little bit better. Thank you. James, in the past 12 months, you've made the final four of the Grand Slam, the final four now the World Match Play in the European Championship final. Are you surprised and annoyed that you've sort of been overlooked considering that you have performed on TV over the past year? No, not really. I had pancreatitis and I wasn't very well for a long, long time. Um, really poorly. Um, and I expect that and I accept... I, now, I, this is different, so I accept it now. You know, it's not that dark players have been better than me. It's not that, that I haven't been good enough. I've, I've been through the real... the wars and the of life. Probably more than most dark players have. Um, and as I said in lots and lots of interviews, I've only just like gone, OK, it's a bit of my own fault, more more probably my own fault, to be fair, rather than blaming everyone. Oh, big one. Um, it's, um, yeah, so it's... Don't, don't think that I can't play darts anymore. I had a lot of personal problems and a lot of health problems 
before all of this happened. So don't think for one minute that I've been left behind. My own personal health and family comes before this game. And I've just started to come through that. So, yeah, so I'm gonna just, just say, um, it's not that everyone's better, that, that much better than me, especially, you know, some of the other players. Um, it's just that I haven't been good enough because I've had a lot of personal problems. And, and you can't harp on about that because no one believes it, no one thinks it. But that's the truth. It's not that everyone's head and shoulders above me now. It's that I've had my own personal problems. That's a strong word to use. Um, yeah. Yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, life's changed for me a lot, and um, yeah, don't don't think that because I'm not doing what I have done or or not in the rankings where I am, it, it's not because a James Wade can't play darts anymore. It's because James Wade has had a lot of personal problems, and there's a damn sight more important things in my life than just playing darts. And, and I've just started to come back to darts now, so I'm not bad for someone who's just started to come back for darts, is it? I mean, there are a lot of people who, if they've been through the stuff that you've been through, they might have really struggled to bounce back. But you're closing in now on the top six. Yeah, again. yeah. Are you proud of that? I should be in the top. Millions? In my opinion, I should be inside the top ten. Um, it's not about. Um, I've got my mental problems that I've got, you know, with the ADHD and bipolar. But it, it, it's gone far deeper than that, you know, physical problems as well. So uh, yeah, I, I believe I should be inside the top ten. You know, unless I'm inside that top ten, I feel like I'm underachieving. But by God, there's some bloody great dart players about now. There, there really is some real good dart players. And there's also some very average dart players doing very, very well. And I just concentrate on the average ones. I leave the special ones to do what they do, and I can upset them, but the average ones, I'm after you. Well, I mean, you mentioned great dart players there. You'll either face Dimitri Vandenberg or Luke Humphries. Those guys approach the game in very, very different ways. Luke Humphries, very rapid, get some of it. Vandenberg can take his time. Will you approach I, 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 you know, I, 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 I'm supposed to be a good boy with this interview. Um, I disagree with what Dimitri does. I, I disagree with it to, to wholeheartedly. Um, Luke Humphreys, though, is a, is a world-class player. He's a world champion, and he just plays darts. All of this stopping, standing back. I, you're all laughing and smiling, you know. You all know what you think of it. So I'm going to say I don't. I don't think there's need need for it. But, uh, you know, if that's how he needs to play the game and that's how he wants to play the game, there's no rules in it. Um, he's a lovely kid as well, you know, so, so it amazes me when he goes up there, he does all that stuff. It's it's a bit beyond me. But then also I'm a bit old-fashioned and a bit boring. And, um, yeah, so we, we will see who wins, you know. I think it'll be a, a really close game. I really do. N the more I think about it. James, a huge well done. On the Thank, Thank you, sir. You. James, congratulations. You've spoken about the issues you've had away from the board. Yeah. The last few years here, you haven't quite hit hard. No. You have also have a great history here. So does that almost make this run that much more special, being back doing something great where you've done so much? Not really. I mean, I've got, I got um, personal issues. And, and, and so it's, don't think I'm making excuses because every single dark player in this room or in this tournament has, has had personal issues. Um, I believe mine have been a little bit... Um, amplified or magnified because of my own personal character. I've spent, I've spent too much time around my family rather than just coming here to play darts. And that's my own fault. So, uh, you know, uh, I, feel, I feel feel pretty good, you know. I think I think next one will be whoever it is, Dimitri or, or, or Luke, will be the hard one, you know. But to be fair, if I play as, as solid and as steady as I did there, I probably won't be that far away. And obviously, you reached the final here. There's a grand slam spot on the line. Is that something that factors into your thinking at all? Not really. I've been doing it for 20 years. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a bonus, isn't it, right? I think. I think. I mean, what was I when, I when I walked into the tournament? 100 to 1, 200 to 1? Something like that? Something like that? I about, think. About 100 to 1, I think. Yeah. One more than anyone else in the tournament apart from one. Not bad odds, is it? A bit of bit of money there a bit of value so uh yeah yeah it's, it's you know i'd love to be in the, uh, in the grand slam you know that, that that that's that's a massive thing for me especially where my rankings are at the moment because I, I i'm really right down there 
So, you know, I'd, I'd like to. I'm not going to go too far because I've got. To, uh, what is it? You got to. Uh, you got to do the. the the, the walk before you do the talk or whatever it is. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was a fantastic performance. Thank you very much, Harry. There was, fun, there was raw emotion for you when you hit the one two one and the one twenty yeah. as well. Did you feel that that was a turning point? Or would you say? I felt I got too excited, you know. I thought when I hit the one two one, I was like, I'll give it the big one, and I was like, oh, ideal. Why have I done that? And then he come back at me, and I was like, you should have just kept quiet and just got on with it. But then also he replied with quite a vocal, uh, liberal celebration. So uh, that 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 made made me feel a little bit better. And this is going to be your ninth World Match Play semi final. Do you feel that the experience that you've got in these in the stage of the competition will play? What I've said in earlier interviews, you know, throughout the week, you know, I don't believe that makes a difference anymore. I, I really don't. You know, years and years ago, you know, you'd play someone like, I don't know, a, a, a player that hasn't done quite as much and you, you, you got to play him in the semis and you thought, I'll do you, you know. But now it's, it's a little bit different, you know. You know, at the end of the day, I've got someone that's won multiple TV tournaments and the world champion, ex-world champion. Um, so, you know, it's hopefully they'll wear themselves out and, um, yeah, and we'll see, won't we? Many congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Thank Cheers. You.